Hello everybody, Ray, Spray Wash Pro. Today we're going to do an experiment. We're going to test food coloring and bleach and see how the temperature affects the action of the bleach. Uh, I've actually kept one of these samples in the refrigerator. It's cooled down to 37.8 degrees Fahrenheit. The other sample in the cup, that's actually at our ambient room temperature, it's 65.7 degrees. So we'll write that down here also to see the difference between the two. Now, the bleach on the left hand side is a little bit darker because we're actually getting some condensation on that cup. Uh, also, the bleach will tend to get a little cloudier the colder it gets. Now, we're going to use nothing but food coloring in here on this experiment. On previous experiments, we've actually used apple wash, which is, as many people know, a soft washing industry specific uh, additive we can use that features a fragrance uh, cover scent, a surfactant, and also a dye marker. In this experiment, we're only going to use just McCormick's food coloring. We put 10 drops in each of these shot glasses. That's about three quarters of an ounce of liquid that we've mixed that with. We've mixed it with nothing but water. So we're going to introduce both of these colored samples into our bleach. We'll give it a little stir to mix it up and uh, start seeing how long it takes for the reactions to occur here. Uh, marking the start time down is 8.20 in the morning. And uh, we can actually already see the sample on the right hand side starting to lighten up considerably. Uh, it's working real fast on there while the sample on the left hand side uh, remains dark. We can really see the room temperature sample just uh, rapidly starting to change color here and um, we'll have it back to its original bleach color in just a couple of seconds more, I believe. And uh, we'll mark that time and write it down. We'll also come in and check the temperatures again when we're done with this experiment to see if everything's still at a similar temperature. Hey, and there we have it. In just a three minute time span, it looks like all of the pigmentation from the food coloring is gone out of our ambient air temperature bleach on there. Uh, we're going to call this 823, I believe. And um, it's gone. You've seen this uh, happen live right in front of your eyes. So the only difference in these two samples is the temperature. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and switch to a time-lapse photography so I don't have to keep talking and I don't have to subject you to some cheesy uh, sound effect music that comes here on iMovie. As I mentioned previously, the sample over on the left-hand side is cold and there's some condensation on the glass. It's one of the reasons that it's uh, a little cloudy. Uh, also, the bleach itself is cloudy the colder it gets, but I'm going to actually dump it into a clean glass here uh, to show you the condensation on the glass as soon as we get these temperature readings. Uh, we can see that that's raised up to 43 degrees, uh, and let's check the temperature of our room temperature sample. It's remaining uh, real close, 66 degrees. Uh, haven't really had a lot of fluctuation, 65.9, so 0.2 degrees Fahrenheit fluctuation in temperature. 
And again, we are at 43.7 in our cold sample. So I do want to show you the condensation on here, so we'll pour this uh, out. Um, but this should answer anybody's question on whether cold bleach works slower than warm bleach. Again, we can work in this industry whenever we are experiencing cold weather, obviously to a certain degree, no pun intended, but we will get faster results the warmer the temperature is that we're working in. Uh, in fact, sometimes our results can uh, can actually be impacted by too warm of a temperature and we can cause oxidation to a property or our bleach might even dry up uh, in the case of cleaning a roof if it's too hot up there and we'll actually have to cool the property down which in essence is also cooling our bleach down and allowing it to work uh, in a slower process and not just evaporate off the surface of the property Hey, this is Ray with Spray Wash Exterior Cleaning. I so appreciate you. Thank you for being a member of Spray Wash Pro. And uh, wash on, guys.